the stage was set in the Ukrainian city of Kerch, now known as Bibudoma, a place that had been at the heart of tensions between Russia and Ukraine since the Russian occupation of Crimea in 2014. This strategically vital region was the center of a fierce battle for control and influence over the Kerch Strait, a crucial maritime passage connecting the Black Sea to the Sea of Azov. Recent developments, however, indicated a remarkable shift in the balance of power. The Ukrainian military launched a daring and unprecedented attack on the Zaliv factory, a place of immense significance. Their target was the marine and port infrastructure within the factory's premises. This was no ordinary strike. It was a meticulously executed precision operation, and the consequences were earth-shattering. The strike sent shockwaves through the region as Ukrainian Air Force pilots managed to severely damage a prominent vessel. The Calibre cruise missile carrier belonging to the Russian Federation's formidable Black Sea fleet. It was a blow that resonated far beyond the shores of the Black Sea, and its implications were profound. But the most astonishing aspect of this audacious operation was the fact that, despite the immense destruction and chaos, there were miraculously no reported casualties. It was as if fate itself had intervened to spare lives amid this military maelstrom. As news of this attack spread like wildfire, the Russian installed governor of Crimea, Sergei Aksyonov, reacted swiftly. He confirmed the activation of air defense systems to protect the Kurd shipyard bearing Biputoma. Aksyonov's statement was a grim indicator of the grave situation, highlighting the level of concern within Russian-controlled territories. The Russian Defense Ministry followed suit with an official statement, confirming the damage inflicted upon a ship of the Black Sea Fleet, which had been located at the shipyard in Kerch. In their announcement, they admitted that out of the 15 cruise missiles fired by Ukraine, 13 had been successfully intercepted and destroyed in the air. Yet, the acknowledgement came with a sting. One of these missiles had struck its target, causing severe damage. The pride of Russia's naval power lay wounded. To truly appreciate the gravity of this military operation, one had to delve into the events leading up to it. Back on April 14, 2022, during the height of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, a momentous event occurred. The flagship of the Russian Navy's Black Sea Fleet, the Moskva, had met a catastrophic fate. This formidable and iconic vessel had been struck by two Ukrainian Neptune anti-ship missiles, sinking it into the depths of the Black Sea. The sinking of the Moskva then a turning point, or declaration that Ukraine was no longer willing to bow to the might of the Russian Federation. It was a clear message to the world that Ukraine was ready to confront Russia in open warfare, challenging Russia's dominance in the Black Sea region. The attack showcased Ukraine's unwavering determination to defend its sovereignty and territorial integrity, even in the face of a powerful adversary. Though Ukrainian military's recent strikes on the Zeliv factory had profound implications for the ongoing conflict. They represented a significant shift in the balance of power, with Ukraine displaying its ability to launch precision strikes against the key assets of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. The damage to the Kaliber cruise missile carrier, coupled with the earlier sinking of the Moskva, marked a significant blow to Russia's naval presence in the Black Sea. The Black Sea Fleet had long symbolized Russian military might and its ability to project power across the region. These losses not only undermined that image, but also weakened Russia's capacity to control vital maritime passages. Ukraine's ability to successfully target Russian naval assets emphasized its growing military capabilities. It served as a deterrent to further Russian aggression and raised Ukraine's stature in the ongoing conflict, potentially leading to greater international support. Yet these attacks also raise troubling questions about the potential escalation of the conflict, as Ukraine demonstrated its capacity to strike at the heart of the Russian military machine, Russia might respond with heightened aggression. The risk of an expanded and more devastating conflict loomed ominously on the horizon. The international community watched with bated breath for the successful strikes by Ukraine could prompt a reconsideration of international support for Ukraine. Military aid and sanctions against Russia were on the table, waiting to be invoked. In the Black Sea region, the attacks amplified the frailty of the security situation, while the Kerch Strait, which had already been a flashpoint in the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, was now an even more volatile theater. The attacks further exacerbated tensions and cast shadows over the flow of goods and resources through this vital waterway. Military operation in Kerch had triggered reactions from key players in the conflict, 
each response underlining the gravity of the situation. Sergei Aksyonov, the Russian installed governor of Crimea, had confirmed the activation of air defense systems around the Kurd shipyard bearing the name of Bibutuma. His statement reflected not just the urgency but also the vulnerability of key Russian assets in the region. The Russian Defense Ministry's official statement was another sobering reminder of the damage inflicted. The majority of the Ukrainian cruise missiles had been intercepted and destroyed, but one had found its mark. Russia's naval capabilities had been dealt a severe blow and the world was left to wonder how these events would reshape the course of the ongoing conflict in the Black Sea region.